Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell, keep sharing. Praise the Lord. After we've praised, let's pray. There's still space. Kenny, Femi, Pastor Alpha, come up. Let's just feel the minds. We're going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to lift your voice. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Shout it again. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every stronghold attempting to stop prophecy attempting to stop from manifesting in my life I challenge you right now. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, Shapa Keto, Papa Keto, Papa Seki Pato Super Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every legal access. Every legal access. Upon which Satan wants to oppress me, Upon which Satan I plead the blood and I declare my liberty now. Lift your voice and pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. Self-time in the name of Jesus. 
the spirit of ancestry and the covenants of the fathers affecting my lineage and wanting to affect my life I decree and declare I've been called out of every tribe every tongue every nation release me now release my destiny lift your voice and pray release me in the name of Jesus the ordinances of darkness the spirit of ancestry Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. The spirit of hardship. The spirit of a hard life. I decree and declare that the Lord judges you over my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit of a hard life. The spirit of hardship. A hard life. Jesus every force of darkness sitting on my glory stopping it from manifesting I curse you in the name of Jesus lift your voice and prophesy I command my lights to shine I command my light to shine the Bible says arise shine for your light is come I decree and declare it's my season of triumph Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time in the name of Jesus. Every force stopping my helpers from reaching me through bad reports, through divination, through misguided reports. I command in the name of Jesus that the Lord is against you. Release my helpers to my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Whether you understand what you are praying or not, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time, the set time, set time, the set time. Hallelujah. I like you to pray this one with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit. 
every spirit that makes men trivialize my giftings that make men trivialize the anointing on my life that makes men trivialize what God is doing to me I come against you right now in the name of Jesus it's my season of celebration lift your voice and prophesy the spirit that causes men to trivialize what you represent to trivialize what God is doing in your life Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, everything that should be in my life now and was hijacked by the enemy, I place a demand in the name of Jesus. Locate my destiny now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, lift your voice and pray. Like the bones in the valley of the city, I command let bones be joined to bones. Opportunity joined to opportunity. Favor joined to favor. Say after me in the name of Jesus Every force of darkness Programmed to kill my prayer life Programmed to kill my passion for God Programmed to kill my appetite for the world I come against you right now Lift your voice and redeem your prayer life Lift your voice and redeem your, your world life Hallelujah. Everyone will pray this, but the brothers, I want you to pray this. Praise the Lord. Brothers, when we raise this prayer and I see any brother looking at me and you are not praying, I walk up to you and hold your hand. It's a serious prayer. Say in the name of Jesus, the grace for speedy establishment. Lord, release it upon my life. Lift your voice and pray. The grace that causes men to be established on time. There is a cause of darkness that causes men to be established late. At 40, you are still in your father's house. At 40, you are still living from hand to mouth. It's a cause. Please pray. Please help us on the earth. Establish me. Send me help from Zion. Establish me on time, on time, on time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone pray this, but I want our sisters to pray this with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. 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 The spirit of unnecessary lateness. The spirit of unnecessary lateness. 
lateness in life financial lateness i curse you in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray it should happen on time it should happen on time there is a time allocated every time is not convenient there is a time allocated name of Jesus in the name of Jesus father, father I know it is within your power to, your turn to turn my life around I ask you in the name of Jesus turn my life around lift your voice and pray change my story my life around pray pray do a new thing do a new thing what has not been done before not the same kind of miracle not the same kind of breakthrough do a new thing something that has never happened before do a new thing change my life turn it around oh God Let me add this one more prayer. He says, Son of man, can this bone And the prophet said, Honestly, I've been a prophet. So prophesying is not something that is new, but this for this case, I don't know. And then he said, Professor, he didn't say discuss, he didn't say cry. In one minute, I'm not going to tell you what to say, but I want you to stand and look at your destiny. I want you to prophesy, carry the word of God like a drug, put it on your destiny. My destiny, I speak to you. You are alive, hear the word of the Lord. I command you to rise, I command you to grow. I program favor in you. Pray. I program breakthrough in you. I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, I speak to my destiny. You are a manifestation of the word of God. You are a manifestation of the favor of God. You are the manifestation of the goodness of God. I take away pain from my destiny. I take away regrets from my destiny. I take away sorrow from my destiny. I prophesy goodness. I prophesy joy unspeakable, full of glory.
your hands. You shall shall you lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, you have prayed. I decree over your life. The Lord has declared that this is the year of triumph. We are angry and we are insisting that it must happen. Therefore, I decree and I declare that if there is anyone under the sound of my voice, under any kind of siege that will not let you see the faithfulness of God, I decree and I declare right now that power leaves your life right now. That force leaves your life right now. Hallelujah. We're about to listen to the word. While your hands are lifted, I want to do an impartation of understanding. Listen. Most people think they know, they understand scripture. It's not true. I decree and I declare, I stretch my hands towards you. May the spirit of understanding, capacity to comprehend the systems of the kingdom, I release it upon you right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. I open your understanding. I open your understanding. I open your understanding. I command your mind to be receptive. I decree that your spirit will be the signal in the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down if you can. God bless you. Good evening. Brothers and sisters, the weeks that are coming will really mean business. You know, I've been saying this. I know it in my spirit when a reality has been declared to manifest from the realm of the heavens. But you know that it is not yet your experience. There is no believer who sits down knowing what God has ordained for your life. And watching the enemy play games with your life and you sit down and hope things will change no sir you have to engage with understanding engage with understanding until that which is yours comes to you the Bible says right from the days of John the Baptist and until now he says the kingdom suffered violence and the violent the violent spiritually violent those who will insist and say, I'm not taking anything less than this promise of God's word. They are the ones who take it by force. I am passionate about results. I never, never associate with anything that does not have capacity to produce results. I am a result-driven person. This is a result-driven ministry. The fierceness of life does not allow for stories and grammar. People want real results in their lives. And let me tell you this. If you're a man of God here, listen to me. No matter what you claim to be doing, if it does not translate into genuine results, you are wasting people's time. It's as simple as that. Herein is our Father glorified. 15 verse 8, John hearing this is how God takes glory from men when ye bear much fruit when your results are notable beyond argument notable beyond sentiment he said by so doing you will prove that you are my disciples you will prove that you have sat down under my mentorship and tutelage your results validate the efficacy of the teaching ministry of the Holy Spirit. When our lives are barren of certain dimensions of results, it's an indictment on the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Results that defy background. Results that defy the expectations of naysayers and men and women who look forward to your failure as their self-fulfilling prophecy but you must contend for it 
hallelujah i've been thinking do you know i've been thinking about you all through the week my mind has just been lord there are dimensions that we must enter before the end of this year the word of god will not go void when god speaks it is within his power to make it happen are we together but it has always been a partnership it's always been that way that the heavens must partner with the earth for realities to be established here and so my assignment is to scan through and make sure that we tie every loose end that can force or that can can sabotage this prophecy from finding expression my job is to search and find out and to remind us and indoctrinate us with the truths that are capable of bringing results results that are predictable results that are consistent results that have nothing to do with the wishes of men hearing is our father glorified hearing if you have ever wondered how god takes glory from men this is how it happens when you bear much fruit much fruit much fruit not little fruit much fruit when results become um become notable notable and consistent it will compel any force of darkness regardless of sentiment to know that the hand of god is upon your life hallelujah every dimension in the spirit has a price every level every dimension of greatness has a price and by the grace of God he has granted us this privilege as a ministry to laboriously open God's people to the demands, the price requirement, the cost dimension of certain results that we need. I am passionate about connecting people's desires to the formula and the principles that have been designed for those outcomes to manifest. It is one thing, if you can tell me what you want, if you can tell me what you desire, I can show you the mystery that is allocated for that result there is a price I wish everything were would just happen without your cooperation but that's not the way the system of God works there is a price the price we are talking about is the price of alignment the price of partnership because you see the operation of the system of the kingdom as we have learned is such that it comes by grace but it says through faith they are not the same thing by grace made available through faith the summation of your partnership that causes that reality that is available grace makes it available it creates the possibility but your engaging the word accordingly makes it your experience. Grace does not make it your experience. Grace opens it up. It lets you know that this is a possibility contained in God. I've shared it with you that the grace of God is not redemption. No, redemption is a subset of God's grace. God's grace is a generic description of any and everything that only God can provide. It's called his grace. So the anointing is God's grace. His mercy is a dimension of his grace. His love is a dimension of his grace. Any possibility that should be the experience of men that can only be provided for by God is his grace. Grace never makes it your experience. It creates the potential for redemption, for healing, for blessing, for increase for multiplication but then it takes faith and most people have thought that 
the only aspect of faith is to believe and confess no sir mm -mm. Mm -mm. no that's only an aspect of faith faith is a generic name given to everything that involves the partnership of man the first key to partnership is finding out the formula god has provided for receiving that miracle understanding it by the help of the spirit and then taking relevant steps in accordance to what he has said this is what the bible calls faith believing is only an aspect of faith confessing is only an aspect of faith that's not all there is to it if you stop there you will be in total shock you can believe that prosperity is your heritage you can confess it is your heritage and stop and don't engage the other forces and you will remain in poverty and penury forever you can believe is god's desire for you to be great listen carefully you can confess that it is god's desire for you to be great and not engage the other forces of greatness value relationships skill and find out you never ask are we together now yes so when we learn the systems of the kingdom we are bringing ourselves to the point of faith where we are able to act with understanding and intelligence it is only when our obedience is complete that we commit god's integrity and then he is compelled to make it happen this is how angels work angels don't work at random angels signify things revelations 1 verse 1 the bible says the revelation of jesus christ which he gave unto his servant john he said and he sent it and signified it by his angel angels act in accordance to understanding their action accredits that you are doing something right so they don't just act at random just because they are there no there is what to do that engages them because they are governed, they are supervised by the Holy Spirit. It is the office of the Holy Spirit that supervises the operation of angels. They don't just move anyhow and do everything. That your eyes are open in the realm of the Spirit and you see them near you is no guarantee they will rescue you. Hallelujah. Is God speaking to us? And so we must find out the things that we need to understand to help us excel brothers and sisters god sees my heart and how much passion that i have to see every one of us rise i will share with us a few things most of them recaps so that we re-evaluate whether we have been practicing these things and then we'll pray are you ready hmm. the first price for doing business with god and making any name and anything that is sustainable on earth please write it down if there is a title for this thing i will call it the price wherever we stop i'm i'm re we're going back to the laws the systems of the kingdom there is no other way to get results than a comprehension a working knowledge and understanding of the systems of the kingdom alongside how we are to engage them this is how results are produced the first price is the price of intimacy the price of intimacy the price of intimacy make a mark in the sand of time god's way if you are unwilling to pay the price to know god the price of intimacy is not the price of praying in tongues it's not just the price of fasting it's the price to know god the price to know god the price to know god write it down the price of intimacy is the requirement that causes a man to have a relationship with God. Daniel 11 verse 32. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus. He says, but the people that do know, know, the word know there, you've heard me say it again and again, it's not just the word aware. That you are aware God exists does not mean you know him. Are we together now? Pastor Alpha knows me. Pastor Femi knows me. Correct? Promise knows me. Kenny, they know me. But I'm not sure any of them know me as much as a Jimmy. Why? Because we have spent more time. There are many things that have brought us closer. And every one of them can only enjoy their confidence about me is based on their knowledge. Please listen. The foundation for your confidence in the kingdom is not just bold face for nothing. It is the knowledge of God. The Bible says, it says let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let not, um, how did he put it now? Let not, let not the strong man glory in his strength. But it says, let him that glory at glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. The foundation, as I'm saying it now, please, I want you to check your life. There are many hustlers in life. They like money, but they hate God. They like what God can give, but they hate him. They like church. They love miracles. They love anointing. They love signs and wonders, but they hate God. They like seed sowing and harvest, but they hate God. Please come, Pastor Alpha. Let me tell you something. I can come to your house and like your bed. Your bed is not you. Correct? I can like your kitchen. I can like your food. I can like your suit. I can like your tie. Huh? I can like your children. I can like your car. All those things are related to you, but they are not you. Anointing is not God. Miracles is not God. Hear me? Oh. Breakthrough is not God. Fasting is not God. Prayer is not God. Bible study is not God. God is a person who can be known. You can hang around activities that are related to him and convince yourself that because you have actively participated in activities that relate to God, it means you know him. This is the pride of African men. We claim I was born in so, so, so time. This baptistry, we were the ones who dedicated it. The first communicants, we are the ones who laid hands on them. When Reinhard Bonke came, we were the ones who set the canopy. And we add all those spiritual accolades to equal knowing God. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Knowing the things of God and knowing God are two different things. The Bible never said, but the people who come to church. It never said, but the people who drop their tithes and offerings. He never said the people who are ordained into ministry. Please listen carefully. We are examining the foundation for our results. You learn principles without an encounter with God. You are just learning jargons. As powerful as principles are. Principles are a derivative of a relationship with a person. Are we together now? Yes. You can know about me by reading my books, but you know me by meeting me. My book is supposed to create an appetite for encounter. Here's what the Bible says. It says, ye search the scriptures. You search the scriptures because you think in them by themselves you will find life. He said, those scriptures testify of me. That means reading the Bible should stimulate you to want to meet a person. Much more than opening the Bible. Zodiac books can be open and you can read. Scientology and all kinds of books can be open. But if you're reading the book does not translate to meeting a person, you will never be great in life. But the people that do know their God, show me a man who is willing to go through the price of intimacy. I don't care whether he went to school or not. 
I don't care whether he came from what background. Show me a man. He may be an orphan. Oh, goodness. What relationship with the Holy Spirit can bring to a man? Brothers and sisters, he can pick a weak person. A weak person. A weak lady. No father, no mother. No opportunity for a great life. But that you are stupid enough to say, Spirit of the living God, you represent the presence of Jesus. I am willing. I am willing. Like a little child will run to the father. I'm clueless about my life and destiny. I don't know where I'm coming from. I don't know where I'm going to. I don't have an idea of what life is about. But all I want is you. I want to know you. I want to see your face. I want to know you, Lord. I want to touch you. I want to hear your voice. I want to know you. Listen. Life will challenge your knowledge of God. You can know God as a theory. One day. The reason why many believers give up just like some of you now. Let me tell you the mystery of tiredness and living God is because there was no encounter in the first place let's be careful the kind of believers we are producing in church I know when I talk like this people think I'm just being sarcastic no I love the body of Christ but we need to re-examine the quality of the harvest we are bringing because we are bringing believers who don't know God they don't care about God they have zero passion for the things of God they will tell you i'm not called into ministry god has called me into business in other words keep all that one to the business people whoever told you knowing god was for pastors whoever told you knowing god was for men of god and their wives and their children but the people that do know their god you want a harvest of strength you want a life of exploits and triumph the first prize is to know God. I can pray for you, but I can't know God for you. You can benefit from my relationship. But brothers and sisters, everybody will stand before that Red Sea. Whether you are married, when you get to the Red Sea, pastor, you will stand there and your wife will stand before her Red Sea. It is her faith that will bring her victory. You can't intercede for people indefinitely forever. No, sir. Are we together but the people who do know their god i talk to pastors and they tell me apostle how do you manage criticism how you do you manage this you know people who like me don't no longer like me and i look at them i say oh dear you are just like a patient comes to tell the doctor and says look i've been purging i've been coughing and while he's talking the doctor is seeing symptoms of cholera are you seeing that now that's the same way do you know most of our lamentations are a window into something that is wrong most likely we don't know god most likely hmm. that's why you can say father i i thank you i know you will bless me but lord if you don't bless me anything i do oh, that's your cup of tea that kind of talk is a revelation that there is no encounter because when you know god he infects you like a virus you come to a point where you say lord seeking you for results is over forever i seek you first for who you are results or no results i'm stuck with you i'm stuck with you it's a salt covenant i'm stuck with you forever are we together everybody say the price of intimacy say it say the price of intimacy can you boldly stand please i want you to listen to my message knowing god experientially is a powerful message knowing god experientially teaches you the system of knowing god let me tell you how god causes men to know him he introduces himself to people and his dimensions in the presence of their challenges and predicaments only challenges can help men know God. There's no other way to know him. The names of God scattered in the Bible 
were a revelation of him in the presence of certain challenges most people know god as healer just because they saw benny him praying or they came for miracle service but the day you stand face to face with a doctor's report that says look madam um i'm sorry to tell you this but it's not like you may not give birth you cannot give birth we have done the scan and we realize that you don't even have a womb he says, sorry come again say look i'm a consultant so you are not talking to a stupid person there is no womb at that point you go back and say god is this not your word let me tell you what it will do to you challenges shake us up all of a sudden and make god serious you know that there is a way you can be trivializing god but then certain challenges just shake you ordinarily you will not wake up by 2 a.m in the night but the reality of what has confronted you forces you to wake up you don't need alarm clock you don't need lipton you don't need coffee the pressure and all of a sudden you pray let me tell you something after nine months when you hold that child you are not holding a child you are holding a testimony other people are dancing over a child you are dancing over a testimony so the day they prophesy and say may the god that can open up a door in one year open your door other people are saying amen the moment let me tell you how you receive things in the spirit yes you receive by faith but your past experiences with god help you to receive the newer things he's bringing god looks for something he has done in your life before and connects it to what you are trusting him for are we together when david was fighting goliath remember he drew from the archives of god's faithfulness do you have a name you have given god based on something only you and him know or are you just reciting the names that you read in the bible rafa jire pastor there is a name you call your wife it's none of my business it's none of our business that is a product of intimacy there is a name you call somebody when you are angry there is a name you call somebody when the times are good there is a even as friends is that true what is the name of god that is a product of your knowing him what name did you give him is there a secret name that every time you call god says i know this voice uh -uh. no one else calls me this name when pastor alpha's wife hears him calling that name he can't mistake it she can't mistake it for me even if i know the name it won't sound like that there is a mystery behind the name there is a way when people in the bible said rafa there were too many stories that came to their mind but today you say rafa and your mind is blank no experience to connect to rafa oh jehovah jireh as abraham abraham knows jehovah jireh but we sing it jehovah jireh my provider and we jump around and there is no revelation that connects that that's why africa has resorted to calling him names in their languages because they found out that it, it has it can help when that gentleman was calling whatever he was saying i was happy because he was not just reciting a poem a name that relates to your pain you don't survive an accident and call god jire you call him the deliverer the deliverer so when somebody sees you say how oh, the deliverer is here they say ah, in a prosperity convention say mr man is the dimension of god that was revealed to me that i keep calling what is the name what is the name we've had our fathers call god names that were strange to us we copied it but it's time for us to have a genuine encounter genuine encounter the price of intimacy koinonia please listen to me no level of business acumen no level of education can cover the gap that intimacy was meant to cover but the people that do know their god if you're a pastor please don't do ministry without knowing god you will die like a chicken you will sit down one day on the stage and start crying and the people ask you what is going you say i, I don't know
the price of intimacy there are certain things about intimacy i want us to understand number one please i'm taking out time to just i want us to understand this thing intimacy takes time you cannot know a man a woman you are willing to spend time with no sir intimacy is a product of time you don't give god five minutes and get benny Hinn's encounter please god is not that cheap my brother my sister listen to me you need to spend time he must mean a lot to you number two god must become priority to have intimacy with him the bible says don't cast your pearl before swine I've said it you don't come to someone's house and then he takes you to his bedroom shows you where he keeps money no sir when you come sometimes you will even stand at the gate sometimes you will enter and stay inside sometimes you will stay at the parlor you will not even have access to the kitchen but there are certain people while all that is happening the child can run and even enter the bedroom The price for intimacy i look at the lives of people believers yes we are born again yes we are filled with the holy spirit but when i look at our lives i don't see priority passion for god is contagious when a brother likes a lady no matter how he tries to hide it his roommate will know is that true <sighs> The roommate will say you just spoke to five people but this sixth person the joy at which you used to call that lady this joy is not natural correct you are hugging everybody after service and then the way you hug that lady brother said this hug is too generous for just brotherly kindness no what is there's more to this i say it's true i've been looking at her passion passion has a presence don't lie to us that you love god when we cannot see the passion Passion has a presence. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. All I want is you. I hunger and thirst for you. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. For all I want. The third key I'm sharing with you for intimacy to be established, one is you must be ready to invest your time. You give God five minutes of your time, you get five minutes worth of knowledge. Second is priority. Third is your willingness to lay down ha. The, the bible calls it the power to lay down this is where some of you will not like me now this is where many believers will not like me now because our generation has been indoctrinated that you can eat your cake and have it no sir go and ask anybody even an occultist you don't eat your cake and have it you cannot know god without a sacrifice i'm not talking money a sacrifice fasting is a sacrifice prayer is a sacrifice are we together studying the bible is a sacrifice we don't like this language at all yet we want power we want results sacrifice there are times that on account of your intimacy with god you just want to eat and the word of the lord comes to you Go on a three-day fast. Oh God, which breakthrough is coming now? God said, this is not the issue of breakthrough. You are about, I'm about to reveal, I'm about to open you up to certain encounters. And I said, God, this is not flamboyant enough. If that you told me that I, after this three days fast, land will manifest from anywhere and come. It's a worthy investment to fast. But wh why will I fast to know you? What is the big deal about you when I'm looking for land? And God will say, you see it. You see your heart. 
Pastor Alpha, hold my hands again. Everybody says sacrifice. I am amazed at the difficulty that believers go through to lay down the slightest thing. Slightest thing. So this suit, you discuss with God for one year before it leaves. You are carnal and you don't love him. It's the truth. Empty your account. I curse that, that devil. You argue for two years first and finish the money till 10,000. I say, God, I will lay it down. God says, just leave. I will tell you when to do it again. Are you willing to lay down? Jesus said, I have the power to lay down. Let me show you maturity in the spirit. When a man has gotten to a point where there is nothing you cannot lay down. Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest. Many of us will agree to fast for 400 days than to lay down something for him. Everybody say sacrifice. 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 When God makes that demand and you are willing to sacrifice, you will know him. Let me tell you, I submit to you with all humility. This man standing before you is a testimony of sacrifice. Ask God, there is nothing I cannot lay down for him. Oh, it's a joke. Before he finishes talking, it will go. I have exercised myself to see the vanity of anything outside of God. You must lay down. The Bible says, love not the world. Usually, it's those who hate money that preach that message. No. It's all those who are poor and broke. They preach it as a consolation to their poverty. No, sir. You should not preach that message until you are really rich. Love not the world. Or the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, he didn't say don't have those things. An affinity to it. God gave you a car and the car took his place. God gave you a wife and the wife took his place. God gave you children, they took his place. God gave you a, a job paying six figures and he lost you in that job. Is God speaking to someone here? God increased your CGPA and that's the end of it. God connected you to a good brother, a good sister. God gave you a business idea. And with that idea, he lost you. No, sir. No, sir. Sacrifice. The Lord, for as long as I live, in life and in death, you remain my priority. And that if need be, I will lay aside anything. If God tells me, lay aside koinonia now, brothers and sisters, is with tears we we'll hold the last valedictory service. I will hold the last service. I don't care what prophet comes from where and says, Apostle, I think you are not hearing God well. I will apologize when God changes his mind, but for now, koinonia closed. Apostle, what do you do with the life you are blessing? I don't know. As the one who sent me, but koinonia closed. There is a way you can do ministry. You have carried your reputation and your life and added to it. When God says shift left, God says, and then leave me where? Are we together? I want you to look at your life now. Let me show you why money is not coming to your life. Leave, leave business. We are coming there. But we are examining why there are some of us, regardless of our prayer, Satan enters our life anyhow. Do you know why? Because the lust in your heart needs to be purged beyond imagination. Your attachment to things. You, God would dare not make a demand of anything. What sort of thing is that? Who gave you the life? Many of you would have noticed that from August, August till now, I'm not sure I've gone from over four ministrations. Cancelled almost everything. It's just been maybe one or two ministrations per month and the rest. Very unusual because that's the instruction God gave. And I said, that's it. Let me tell you, there are certain people that I would have wanted to be in their meetings with all my heart. But I love God. There's nothing I know that moves the heart of God than him seeing something you ordinarily love. But you say, Lord, it is for you. He says, that's it. This is what I'm looking for. If this handkerchief is five naira, and I tell you I brought this handkerchief from the UK, 
are we together i bought it whatever amount one pound and i carried it from the uk and i brought they wanted to collect it but i hid it back immigration wanted to harass me but i said this is for you if i give you will you give somebody for one thousand it's not about the sacrifice have increased the value of it there is no rising in the spirit when you are holding on to everything jealousy anger huh? all kinds of things please let's re-examine these things if we really want results god declared that it's a year of triumph but it's your heart with him it's your heart with him apostle all i want is just pray for me let a husband come keep quiet oh sister and listen to what i'm telling you because it's not just the issue of pray for husband god has already seen the wickedness in your heart and god is saying no way you must love me first before i carry my son that i've labored on to carry and give you oh god just bless me i need to be a millionaire i've seen this thing in my dream and god said if you don't listen to my servant you will it will remain in the dream there it takes hunger for god how many people have made money and left god have you seen people like that anybody that says money does not give you an option is a poor and a broke person who doesn't know anything about money because when you have money there are few things you will pray about correct many prayer requests are tied to finances and let me be honest with you there is a level in your life that you get to where you don't think about money again you may not have everything but you get to a point where all your basic needs can be met to the degree you want them to be met at that point that's how you see how carnal and mundane your heart is because there's nothing else i understand praying for six hours because of the emergency that is on you but when his majesty has lifted your life beyond certain realms that's when you will know and prove whether he's really lord in your life my number one prayer to god every time is oh god for as long as i live may nothing win my heart so much enough to be able to push you and say god wait behind just because a door of ministry was open wait behind oh god benny Hinn is calling me wait behind billy graham gave me the privilege to see him before he dies wait behind bill gates just called me and he said he wants to bless a man of god on earth and favor located me no sir no sir lord make me your priority make me your priority make me your priority this was the secret of david make me your priority priority means you mean the world to me you mean the world to me brothers and sisters get my passion for god i pray that god will, will whatever it is that god did to me i pray that it will happen to you because if truly speaking you want to do business with god you must love him beyond things things beyond things beyond things i love him with all my heart i love him my heart is open before him is the god of my salvation i love him with all my heart i will lay down anything for him anything anything i really mean it i really mean it don't think i'm just talking i fear god i will lay down anything reputation nonsense if you can lay down anything in his presence and go down on your knees and say lord this is for you i lay down my pride i lay down my achievement oh i have a phd in so 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 and so just calm down first oh lord i hand it over to you there's nothing god loves like surrender 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 it's yours that's a language that is music to his ears the anointing lord you gave me is yours the grace you gave me is yours and while people are clapping for you in the open apostle joshua selman you come before him and say lord without you i can go nowhere else ah, but apostle tell the truth as anointed as you are without you hmm. the wife of david looked at him 
and said you are dancing you are you are you are misrepresenting yourself you don't know you are a king before god and david said me you don't know my track record with this god i've told god one day to me leaving you please if it means me taking my life let it be that i didn't finish my assignment but that you remain my priority i surrender all everything i give to you i'm withholding nothing listen to the song before you sing it lord i surrender to you everything i give to you i'm withholding nothing listen the key to dying killing your reputation and the the key to entering your rest is to hand over your life to god i don't have any reputation no brothers and sisters my reputation is god you know there are times that sometimes i chat with the media people and they tell me you know someone all these people that write all kinds of things sometimes they send mails sometimes sarcasm people say all kinds of things i say apostle your reputation and i laugh as ah reputation died since when if i had a reputation of my own wouldn't i be under pressure right now let me tell you what is causing stress the fight to protect our reputation that's it so that people will not think i'm poor let me prove a point and god is saying what point come on to me come on to me i need people to know that me i'm not i'm not just a i'm not i'm not a poor man i i need to go and buy a trouser and god says no i am your reputation i am your inheritance listen let me teach you people the secret of rest there are many pastors wearing themselves out i need crowd so that they will know that me too i'm anointed if if a man can receive nothing except it is given to him from god i learn to rest in him he truly is my rest <laughs> it's my rest that's why the ministry has been designed in such a way that whether i'm here or not god will be glorified it can't be around me no sir if i die now god forbid ah yes you will just cry for seven days you will try to pray and raise me back to life maybe two or three days after three days i guarantee you'll be tired small and you just say oh, what do we do they say let's just give god pray somebody will have a dream and see me say please bury me jerry and leave me in peace ah but he said you will not die while you are talking all that nonsense i'm in heaven happy and rejoicing and looking at you and saying instead of crying for me you better go and listen to my messages and make a meaning out of your life for for me to live is christ but to die is gain look at the stress that is killing you is it not because of ego talk to me 90 percent of the depression that is killing us in this life is an attempt to protect our image we say i need to guard my image. what nonsense image ask a man who built an image that god smashed into pieces he built 90 feet of his image protected by bowing down god says no but those who entered the fire to protect the image of god god says i come to protect you brothers and sisters i give you an advice carry your reputation like a sacrifice hand it over to god and enter your rest this night this is a deliverance for someone now is that true the 40,000 house rent is killing you. You don't have the money. But to go and meet your friend and squat, you are saying, no, I need them to know. Please, enter your rest. Pack out of that place and go and give yourself peace. Instead of dying to maintain your reputation. They've been seeing me wearing only one shoe. I need to get another one. Nobody has been seeing you. People have their problems. It is your, it is your, your, the punishment that comes from not handing over everything to God.
I like you to pray as you are seated and say, Lord, I am tired of carrying a load you told me to give you. I hand it over. Apostle, but people are always asking me, when will I marry? It will kill you. Don't let depression kill you. Hand everything over to God and enter your Sabbath. Enter your rest. A man can receive nothing until it is given to him from God. Pray, Lord, make me your priority. I'm willing to commit time to knowing you. I'm willing to commit to surrender everything and make you a priority. This obsession I have for marriage, this obsession for children, this obsession for job, this obsession for power, this obsession for ministry and rema and miracles is taking your place. Return back to your throne, oh God. If this is all I share tonight, it's worth it. Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be? That's my testimony. If you left you waited, you waited. Listen, where would I be if he left me? This song means a lot to me because you see, brothers and sisters, he is the invisible force behind men who command results. You don't see him, you only see them. So chances are that they are the ones who you can shake. They are the ones who you can sow to. But every great man knows that behind him is an invisible and mighty God. Unmovable. I may shake, but he's unmovable, unshakable. But the people that do know their God shall defy status quo. They shall be strong and they shall do exploits the first prize we are revisiting the mysteries that make for greatness brothers and sisters let's return to the place of intimacy let's return to the place of intimacy this is a call return to the place of intimacy spend time with God draw strength from him talk to him don't hide anything from him open your all to him it will be foolish and silly to hide anything from him everything carry your pain carry your tears learn to spend time with god alone hold on please there are some of you as i look at you you don't yet have the passion for god to go on a personal retreat no you are churchy you love god you don't drink you don't steal you don't womanize you don't follow men but you don't love god you can't go by yourself and lock your house and say please i need to spend time some of you the last time you did this was a long time ago ministry are it is place in your life listen you must learn the power of retreating even if it's just for a day do it lock yourself lord i come before you you are the god of my strength i am open and naked before you these are my crowns these are my pains I bring them before you and you fellowship with him and he talks to you ah my son I love you correct this add this to your life I'm introducing this begin to see things this way and you come out of there with fire and grace and people look at you and your life is an unending compendium of wonder wonder unfolding when a man gasses out it's a sign that he has left the secret place in a long time. Freshness is one of the characteristics of the secret place. 
Look at me. Whether you are working class or you are a student, you are a father, you are a mother, you are a husband or a wife, I'd like you to write it if you are writing. I must create time alone, underline alone with God. MOG, create time more with God. Because all you have to serve the people is what you receive in the secret. Thank you, Jesus. That's how it works. You want to experience a, a life of unending victory. It starts that way. It starts that way. It always starts with him. Not principles. We are coming to principles. But him. Not just an encounter. An encounter can be a one-time experience. But intimacy is fellowship. Is partnership. Staying. Remaining with him. Where he becomes your priority. Sister, a brother comes into your life and meets you madly in love with God. He won't do any how to you like that because he met, when he meets you idol, uh, idol, carelessly moving around, waiting for a man, that's when he does everything for you. He comes to find you in worship. Can we see by this time, oh, I would love to, but I, I need to spend some time with God. Ah, which God? So, well, that's, that's what I do. Ah, by yourself, you are behaving as if you are a child. And he, you just see that as a sign from God that this is going to be a wicked husband. You don't need to go and ask God again whether he's the will of God. God answered you there. Your passion forced an answer from him. Are we together? I love God. I love Jesus. I love him. I like you to pray and say, Lord, help me love you. Help me love you genuinely. The price of intimacy. Sabra gada kosi keti yalakada. Brendis kalepra hasuzi amana kaladusi. The price of intimacy. The price of intimacy. Let no westernization preach you out of this, my brother, my sister. The price of intimacy. Let education not preach you out of this. Let a job, let money, let marriage, let children not preach you out of this. Way before ministry was, he was. And he is and will ever be. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. I must become alpha and no man of your life for anything in between to make sense. Please pray. Oh, I re I reestablish my covenant of intimacy. For Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Yes, you are the cup that will run dry. Other things may run dry. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Not in my life. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Hold on. It's impossible to marry a bad woman. When your heart is connected to God, you attract what looks like you. You leave God and you are doing all kinds of rubbish. The devil will bring Jezebel to your life that will tear your head and tear your anointing into pieces. It's impossible to marry a bad man. All these men that drive you to church, they leave you somewhere. Sisters, I'm talking to you. They all go and do koinonia. Pray for us, oh Mother Teresa. As soon as they are rounding up, they are there by that place where they are selling something. They are waiting for you. They pick you and say, I love you. Nonsense. Let me deliver you now. If there are such kind of people in your life, you better send them a text and tell them, get out of my life so that God himself will bring my husband or my wife. Hallelujah. Anybody that hates your God and likes you is a liar. No, sir. You come under my roof, you serve what I'm serving. You serve who I'm serving. You can't be under my roof and have your own rules. No, sir. It's 
it is from your intimacy you will raise your children you can't give what you don't have it is from your intimacy as a pastor let me tell you when you love god and you hunger after him that fire con the people catch that fire and they love god too you tell people to fast you are eating secretly you buy fish you buy yam you buy whatever people are laboring and they are fasting you will eat and belch and dress and come and round up the meeting intimacy intimacy i'd like you to think in one minute what is that one thing that is currently fighting the position of god in my life think don't pray think what is it what is that one thing that if god makes a demand now honestly i can't give it what is it some of us is our reputation i keep talking about this reputation my class I am this I am that the power of my hand hey. I have seen mighty people fall like a leaf overnight because God they ignored God's assistance in their life you can be a CEO of XYZ today and be a billionaire and crash back to zero Is God waking somebody up today? Please return to the secret place. Return to the place where he is priority. Return to the age long and age old mystery of retreats. Where you take periodic times out with God. And just spend and cry before him. And say Lord thank you. That you fast for 100 days does not mean you love God. It can just mean that you are a strong person. Congratulations for that. But it's not equal to intimacy. You're all I want. You're all I've ever needed. You're all to hold the hand of your neighbor and pray for him and say lord keep your love burning in him keep your love burning in her don't pray for yourself pray for your neighbor lord keep your love burning that's the investment of prayer I'm making for my neighbor whether you're a newcomer or not lord keep your let my neighbor prioritize you my neighbor loves you but you are not such a big deal to him or to her but lord walk on his heart tonight walk on her heart tonight hallelujah hallelujah are you blessed are you blessed these are the mysteries let me teach you one more hmm. the second prize that i want to teach you tonight wherever we stop we'll pray we'll continue next week i'm taking this thing because i really want us to understand the second prize is the price of submission to authority listen the price of submission to authority write it down mm. the price the embarrassing ego stinging but destiny molding price of submission to authority the mysteries that turn people's lives into wonders the price of submission to authority hmm. nobody promotes himself in this kingdom you cannot promote yourself you cannot accredit yourself nobody makes himself a professor 
nobody makes himself a doctor is that true pastor alpha you have supervisors correct mm -hmm. no student marks his project and say i passed correct no in the kingdom listen the system of rising is such that it's not only god that approves you alone men must approve you if not you will never rise listen to me your approval is not just in the hands of god alone it's in the hands of men too mm. jesus knew this that's why he had to look for john the baptist what will the son of god be doing the son of god look for john the baptist for what for what the word that created the heavens and the earth searches for john the baptist when john sees him himself he says behold the lamb that's enough to make his head big and say oh so you know then it means i will go back he said no suffer it to be so it's an ordinance it's a secret permit it to be so i know that i created you but suffer it to be so that all scriptures will be fulfilled that there be no legal basis for my remaining small listen i know that god has approved you but have men approved you you will think it does not matter go and find out those who made kings in the bible whether the spirit appeared as a ghost god chose them men anointed them kings is it in your bible how god anointed jesus but did, did it come like that no samuel how long will you weep over saul seeing that i rejected him go and take your horn i want to use david but you have refused to cooperate with me i have approved him from heaven but david cannot rise because the man that will pour the oil and approve him refused God approves a man as a king and on earth the authority to accredit him is still negotiating and because of that that person remains grounded listen Saul the son of Kish was looking for his father's donkey when he met an authority that could approve and he called him he said come go up I will tell you what is in your heart and all of a sudden he anointed Saul and poured oil on him and his life changed whoever lied to you that when you say to hell with men you will prosper the Bible says believe in the Lord your God you want to be established wonderful but if you want to make it in this life brothers and sisters you must submit to God's scriptural pattern of authority your alignment to God's scriptural chain of authority decide how and what flows to you your alignment to god's scriptural chain of authority determines how and what flows to you there are prophets in the bible who were preordained by god to be prophets there were other prophets who were made prophets nowhere in the bible it was never written that they should be prophets amos was not a prophet he was a farmer he was an agriculturist but a man saw him and made him a prophet elisha was not a prophet oh i hope you know that when elijah took his girdle and slapped it on elisha while he was farming elisha started following him the result was that he became a prophet. Agabus, a man in the Bible called Agabus, who gave birth to daughters. The Bible never tells us that they were serious spiritually. But because they were born, they came out of a loin, the loins of a man who for whatever reason was a prophet. The old daughters were prophets too. your submission to authority is a mystery that governs promotion ask anybody who is honest enough to admit 
and tell them the day they began to discern authority what happened in their lives that's why you see those who dishonor the body of christ will never rise you've heard me say this all those who make it a point of duty they insult every man of god they insult every church once it's not your pastor everybody is an object of there is a sin that you can do against the body of christ a man cannot just sin against god alone you can sin against the body of christ and the bible says jealousy is the rage of a man i cannot come and insult a jimmy's wife and expect him to smile no. the first understanding of authority is your submission to the body not just to man of god not just to spiritual fatherhood your submission to the body the multifaceted dimension of god that is scattered in the body your ability to acknowledge that the body of christ is a compendium of infinite possibilities regardless of what your unique biases are when you love the body you are ready to access the deep things in the spirit god will never do business with you when you hate his body there are people who are fasting giants but their cynicism against the body mention any name of any man of god they have something to say mention it, they, that attitude of sarcasm and they wonder why regardless of fasting and prayer nothing comes the body the bible says for this cause not discerning the body many are weak for this cause many are sick this cause many do sleep as a ministry we have clearly defined our position over the body i love the body of christ you will never hear me open my mouth and talk about any man of god and any ministry it doesn't mean i believe everything i have my reservations but i love the body a wounded bride is still a bride if a woman injures her hand on her wedding day, does it stop her from marrying? That woman you insult every time, call the church, is someone's wife. Submission to the body. Submission to the body. That you discern that this body of Christ is a compendium of possibilities. The blessing of God always comes to you through alignment to authority. The blessing of God, please everyone listen. The blessing of God will always come to your life through alignment. Write this down. I learned this from Dr. Mike Mudok. The primary purpose of authority is provision, protection, and promotion. Write it down. The primary purpose of authority, the primary purpose of authority is provision, protection, and promotion. Provision. When you submit to authority, you have access to the promotion that that authority commands. When you submit to authority, you have access to the protection. We call it a covering. And when you submit to authority, you have access to promotion. Are we blessed? You can never promote yourself. You can never accredit yourself. Listen, when you see people submit to authority, let me tell you why people hate submission. Come, Pastor Alpha. There are many people, what they are doing is pseudo submission. You know what we call pseudo submission? One leg in, one leg out. You are not exactly there, but you are just there. Who is this guy? Well, he's a very, he's a senior colleague. He's just a brother there. You are, you are, you would never rise that way. No way. God is not a fraud star. You are in it or you are out. I will never forget a gentleman who walked up to me one day and said, Sir, I've been looking at you as if he's toasting me. I've been watching you. I've been watching your life, sir. And, uh, you know, I just feel I need to come close to you. I told this get out of here. Don't, don't waste my time. 
go and walk on your pride in the secret place when your discernment is complete and you understand that not all human beings are pure human beings then when you submit to a man you don't submit to a body you submit to a system are we together if you fly a plane somebody drives it even if it is your jet somebody drives it the jet is guaranteed to carry you but not everybody will be a driver that's how it is in life listen no matter how you fear god and no matter how you love god there are things that you will get based on connection you will pray in the secret place god will refer you to his structure the Bible says the church was built in a very strange way. It says Christ being the chief cornerstone. After that, he said it was on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Not just by name. Then the body was built. There are certain graces when you don't encounter in your life, you will never rise. I know this looks like human worship. But these are the secrets that other people who are not very smart, they just know how to encounter it. The body of Christ do you have that discernment I've shared with you how we receive the grace for long life we transported the grace of for long life officially and brought it to this ministry yeah I know how we got it when we stopped at that place that border between Quara state and equity state there is a strange mystery that goes on there 142 132 125 healthy ah we stopped quickly we went to the baba there we said sir there is a grace for long life here we wanted the man laughed he said kneel down he didn't say are you a pastor because when you go as a pastor you stay outside when you submission demands a stripping of whatever robe or regalia and a an acknowledgement that's what we did on a very good day he says sir i'm just returning from a ministry where there are miracles baba do you know me cannot even speak english we got we had to look for an interpreter and he spoke kneel down jerry young people we knelt down and this man began to speak i told you i met the wife of the 132 year old man who died i think she was like maybe 120 something you would think she's 60 and I told her, I said, ah, when the woman saw, she tapped me. She said, follow me. I didn't care where I was going. No, no matter what I saw, I would stay there. Because I know what brought me there. If I was cynical, I said, madam, where are you taking me? I'm a born again believer. No, go there first. She showed me the picture of her youth with the one 32 year old man. Afterwards, we told her that they prayed for us. But since you are the wife, two have become one. The man is dead, you are alive, so he's still alive. And the woman removed her shoes. Said, kneel down. Ah, what do you think I'll do? Hey. Submission. Submission. Let me tell you what many of us will do. <laughs> Mama, just pray. Is that kneeling down? That's pride. You are not receiving a sword. Kneel down. One of the biggest enemy of submission is that we think submission is a way of demeaning our own self. Now, truly speaking, do you know there are people who do that? They purposely demean you in the name of submission. That's wrong. There are insecure men and women of God scouting around for anybody they can call son or daughter to increase their accolades, not because they understand what they have. And they will purposely humiliate you, especially in the open, to show. Look, Jesus was with the people who were submissive to him, but you did not even know who Jesus was. They had to use a kiss to identify him. I choose to be like him. You don't have to move around and when people are there, you say, oh, yeah, Pastor Alpha, shift, let them know I'm the one. <laughs> when they know, you can come back. I watch people who hate submission, having passion for sons and daughters. They hate submission, they hate acknowledging authorities. 
they come for a meeting and see a, a man of God that deserves honor, uh, all protocols duly observed. Ah, Pastor Femi, aye. Is that greeting? That is, that, is, that is the attitude of pride that drives grace down. Look, if you are anointed, you are anointed. It's as simple as that. If it's not there, it's not there. Are we together? Authority. I can share with you encounters after encounters. One of the things I love about the leaders and the people in this ministry, and that's why you see that many of them have been able to reproduce this grace, is because they understand submission. Truly speaking, I tell you, I am very proud of the workers in this ministry. I am proud of the heads of department. They understand submission. Submission is not a way of managing a man of God's insecurity. Listen, never form a team where the loyalty of the people is questionable. Let me give you an advice. If I want to create, come, 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 darling. If I want to establish a company, come. One, two, three, four. If I notice your loyalty is questionable i will sack you what wait wait oh but you are you are gifted just carry your gift and go away with it you only deal ruthlessly with rebellion listen i'm telling you people will interpret it as insecurity but it is irresponsible for a leader to see rebellion and let it go deal with it are we together yes I will not let anybody to be close to me who does not listen to me and acknowledge the authority of the Lord of, of, on my life over him. I will not. I don't hate you. I won't fight you. But you certainly will not be close to me. You know why? Because you will not receive. And you will corrupt the passion of others from coming to receive. Because they will say you are close. Why are you not getting this result? I say, yeah, this thing. Is it not we that are close to them? We, we, we that are, if me, I'm close like this. Have you ever seen me heal the sick? So you should be doubting. And I say, ah, you mean it? That anointing is, eh, for, I didn't say he's fake. Oh, I only said, am I not close to him? Why has it not come on me? Take those kind of people out of your life. I'm, I'm talking to you sincerely. Take them out of your life. Anybody that comes close to you, as I, I don't mean everybody but as somebody a man of god or somebody that god has lifted to a measure not all of them will submit to you in terms of fatherhood but they should be able to acknowledge what god is doing in your life enough to listen when there is time to listen are we together now yes if you're in worship team here and your music director is talking to you and say sir like i read in the book mm -mm, keep quiet you do it again you do it tomorrow if i'm you he will never sing here again no way it's more than holding the mic and a good voice you don't listen that's how one day they'll say sing after two times transpose and you invent your own everybody transposes only you and you are just dancing because people are clapping you are dancing and you mess up team spirit only happens when there is an agreement to submit are you listening to what i'm saying that's why many people never rise All blessings come. They flow from a scriptural chain of authority. A few weeks ago, Pastor Alpha went to stand in for me for a meeting and a number of our people. And after the meeting, one of the mothers there sent me a text and said, Apostle, you have reproduced yourself verbatim in these people. And I smiled. I said, they deserve it. They deserve it. One of our dear ones here, when he was in the school of ministry, you know this was somebody that god helped and one time he went towards their graduation time he went to minister somewhere and my goodness it was an experience there was such an avalanche of the presence and the power of god and he returned back he was saying ah this and that and that and i told him when you listen and you submit you have it everybody say submission to authority learn it today learn it we have to stop here but if just doing these two things alone the the bible says god called abraham he says a lot went with him is that in your bible lots did what 
He didn't say Abraham said, Lord, let's go. Lord said, I'm going. I'm sure Abraham said, you better go back. Home. And Lord went with him. God called Elijah and Elisha went with him. Elisha had sons of the prophets who paid school fees. And they were receiving lectures from a lecturer. But Elisha said, since I didn't pay anything, I will humble myself and follow. He was the one who poured water on the hands of Elisha. I'm not saying to compel people to worship you. Please don't do that. I, I know that the leaders in this ministry will not do that. Don't just make... There are times that people do some unnecessary worship. You know you have not gotten to the level that demands that. You stop it consciously. Even as I am now. There are things... There are some mothers old enough to be my mother. Old enough. More older than my mother. They will see me and they want to kneel down. I will be stupid at my age and level to allow a woman kneel down like that and say she acknowledges me. No. If I try to carry her up and she refuses, I kneel down with her too. That's a wise person. So, fatherhood is not a way of massaging your ego to watch people worship you. While they do it, you make sure the crowd is watching. No. God will punish you for playing with people's lives like that. But brothers and sisters, there are mysterious benefits to submission. One of it is the flow of grace. One of it is the flow of grace believe this oh believe this pastor jimmy was telling me yesterday that he was talking with someone a meeting that i'm going for next year somewhere and then he was talking with the person the person had had me mention his name and he you know they got in touch and he was saying sir i've had apostle talk about you so so much and i was so touched yesterday he's just hearing it now a jimmy was talking to me and he said that he told the man he said sir your life and your ministry is about to shift in a way that you will never imagine. When he said it, I looked at him. I said, this is somebody who is my friend. He's so close to me. But that ability to discern. Some of you, you know why God never lets you come close to a man of God? Your proximity for familiarity, your, your propensity for familiarity is too bad. Way together someone came one day to see me and when he came he saw me eating corn and he was laughing he needed a some and he saw me i was eating corn and he was talking he said yeah you should allow me eat before i pray for him i said don't be foolish didn't you come for prayer does eating the corn does anointing flow through corn or through whatever if if you are coming to listen keep quiet and listen otherwise please walk out of here You can be sleeping on the same bed with your miracle and lack of submission. There is no woman here who should refuse submitting to her husband. Any woman that refuses submitting to her husband, I don't care whether the husband is a man of God or not. Listen, ladies, if you are about to get married, make sure you are willing to submit to your husband. I am not a I am I will not advocate oppressing women I don't do that but all these women alive movement and all this gender equality thing there is a balance to gender equality I don't oppress ladies I have a great deal of honor and respect for ladies but all this nonsense of what a man can do a woman can do also is is deception no I don't look down on women but the correct position of a woman's victory is under authority. Please learn this. Rebellious, noisy, mouth ladies that cannot submit to authority have signed for a life of defeat and pain. Listen, it's true. Submission to authority. That was the problem with Jezebel. It was obvious I have submitted to her and not the other way around. Because it was her that was running the nation. When Eve violated the law of submission, there was access to the serpent. God causes you to submit to protect you. I look at people who are in this ministry, but they are not really connected genuinely. Because I do not see the grace finding expression in their lives. There are people who have never come here. It's not about coming to lie down the altar necessarily. It's not even about sowing into the life of a man of God, carrying his handkerchief, carrying... Some of those things sometimes can just be ritualistic, really. But the truth of it is a connection. Connection is based... The Bible says as 
as um, face answers to face there is a connection genuine connection genuine honor whether in the secret or in the open you will never sometimes before your hands are ever laid on you you will walk in that grace and reproduce it verbally why have you not entered certain breakthroughs that you see it is because submission is not genuine submission is not genuine praise the lord first fatherhood but then second a recognition of people that have gone ahead of you you notice sometimes when i'm counseling people when someone comes is talking about issue finance or breakthrough or this i say please go to a jimmy sometimes they can see a jimmy laughing there and they just go and stand this guy and i say you remain poor and broke there because you are not willing to listen this guy you see carries a strange grace for wealth and abundance i've worked with the jimmy for years that grace on him came from his late mother yes my first genuine watch genuine watch not all those things genuine watch then the mom gave me from uk that watch never spoiled i sold it painfully nobody invents mantles they are transferred so if you ever see it on someone it left somewhere to come there don't trivialize it the men may be young but the mantles are ancient it's like water please help it's like water do you know the water on earth is older than everybody it keeps recycling that means somebody drank it abraham drank the water you are drinking isaac because it only recycles the crops can come out the corn i'm eating abraham they eat it but the water in the sea oh no come on that's how mantles are this healing grace nobody invents it nobody even if you receive directly from god to you it was an encounter but when god shows you the dynamics it was a connection i've taught you on systems nobody will ever walk on pros in prosperity insulting kenneth copeland start from anywhere in the world the mantles keep connecting themselves until it gets to the final person kenneth copeland is not carrying a mantle of he is the system on earth to the body that represents that possibility you want to walk in the anointing and in the healing ministry start from any man of god you keep connecting until it gets to Benihin now currently you see that you don't invent a road that has been found there are people who are millionaires today they are not smart 90 percent of what we teach in business schools they don't know anything about it but they were just stupid enough to discern there is an ancient mystery i've shared with you my story remember the two women Ejimi? that i bought sugar cane for two women that were wearing tatter dresses i bought paid sugar cane for them a woman that cannot afford 50 naira now blesses me and said my son forever walk upon gold that's what the woman told me forever walk upon gold i believe i received a strange i don't believe that woman was a pure human being i believe they were angels in disguise I don't believe that woman was a pure human being I have had many encounters like that but this one was strange <sighs> my life opened overnight the race is not to the swift I'm showing you how these systems work in the kingdom I've shared with you how I went to Canaan land to go and sow a seed to Bishop David Oedipo when I finished all of that I came out when I came out please help this lady I came out. I would I had already been working in signs and wonders, boarded flights by myself to go and sow a seed to a man of God. Most of you do it, but it's not genuine. You just do it for the sake of it. Listen, more greatness produced from alignment that it will be done from knowledge.
more greatness will come from alignment in the days to come than it will come from knowledge i will teach you about knowledge i teach you about skill but brothers and sisters there are ancient dimensions that are not subject to just knowledge you can enter a reality before your mind catches up i remember when people i didn't used to work very strongly in the prophetic you no know, here and there god will help me but it wasn't anything serious i remember when i was browsing william branham people were lambasting that guy saying nobody's carrying his anointing nobody's carrying all these insults they insult men of god be careful i remember watching his video one night early in the morning and i just sat down tears were rolling down my eyes i saw the humility and the compassion from that man i said how could people this guy was a thousand times more humble than me and yet people keep talking about him and all of a sudden i felt it was like something on my head it took like 30 minutes it was coming down the next meeting i went to it was like a joke i started seeing names on people over people's head i said this is strange don't ignore submission you will pay for it i know you went to school but let me tell you there are people who read let me not call the name of any course had that class but were connected to an ancient mantle that can manipulate realities and today they are working in nmpc they've been working in nmpc for decades with a past degree they've been sacking anybody but the grace that brought them there still keeps them you would think they've been sleeping around no sir listen before you submit to an authority discern the graces at work discern the forces at work discern it don't just sit down and say i am this i am this whether you call you say papa you say whatever you will never discern it discern it how you know you are genuinely connected is that the results start reproducing in your life sometimes in a shocking way let me tell you if we send a dog from koinonia dog d-o-g i carry this handkerchief and tie it on that dog i promise you and i send it for a crusade people will rise up from wheelchairs and the sick the power of god will flow it's not about the dog it's about what is carrying there are some things that are not just based on your personal work are you getting what i'm saying now god said it's the year of triumph he knows that there are many things you don't know and if he's to wait just on some things that you need to know to prosper the natural way will take years before you really understand it but there is a system when he said it there was already a provision but you are refusing to tap into it because of pride pride I see favor every day in my life every day is one thing i know if you ever are looking for the grace for favor and you have been looking around and you are not getting it you are a liar and you are calling god a liar and god will not be happy with you because that grace is more than available it's just that people don't know it There is nothing I'm wearing from my head to my toe that I bought with my money. No, plus my stockings, head to toe. Favor is real. You can sit and argue it in pride. Say it doesn't matter and sit down there. But you can believe and say, but Lord, this is possible. <sighs> Your life changes automatically. Do you believe this thing I'm sharing with you? I've taught you two things today the price to develop intimacy and the price of genuine connection genuine connection genuine connection you come for koinonia here you see manifestations of the spirit there are people like that they have reproduced it everywhere frankly speaking they can tell you i'm in a meeting i didn't even pray honestly i just said father we give you thanks 
and people started for even then they will go back and say oh, but god thank you for covering for me it's alignment it's alignment when he dedicated the jerusalem temple he turned and said lord whoever faces here he didn't say if he prays well once he turns this direction and he aligns with this direction please hear them so when daniel was in trouble he couldn't depend on his personal work he opened the gates towards jerusalem and said this is a matter of life and death i can't afford to take risk and play with myself hallelujah it is the lord's doing then it is marvelous marvelous go to ida and you you go to you go to destiny makers international pastor alpha's ministry it's like koinonia reproduced verbatim now the shocking part how you know this is grace reproduced is that not all of them have come here let me tell you something about spirit transfer you don't have to learn it the anointing will make you do it are we together now the anointing will make you think in a certain way it will make you understand scripture in a certain way to produce certain outcomes it's a year of triumph because there is a possibility for a transfer there are some things you should never cry about in this ministry one of it is the presence of god one of it is the favor of god one of it is the gift of men one of it is the mantle for honor one of it is revelation and understanding one of it is prayer one of it is influence do you not see the graces flying around looking for those with discernment to receive the stranger comes visits koinonia once and carries that thing and goes back and their lives changed there are people listening to me right now from mubi it was i think it was yesterday i got the text when i went there just a few weeks ago i prophesied to them because their roads are bad and i told them i said in the name of jesus i attract the attention of the government here to fix this road just yesterday the governor was there and they commit you, you okay you were there when we got the text the governor came there commissioned the road see let me tell you this thing don't wait till your life gets too bad i know the dimension of the prophetic god gave me it's called the creative dimension of prophecy creation you make things happen you program them in the realm of the spirit you hear people come to testify here it's not just about speaking brothers and sisters don't delay your life by yourself our time is gone but we'll go pray for five minutes rise up everybody can we rise up and pray please rise up and pray rise up we're going to pray prayer point number one father help me to be serious with you genuinely lift your voice and pray please pray Zabragata gato sata fredi ana malakato zapi. Sabraba sata balakoria sata balatus. Mambra gato sabratus keleba husi ana malatabash. Sabragato sata prada kete kola tabata sada balada balada balada. hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number two i like you to pray genuinely and say lord in any way i have not aligned genuinely i align by faith i align by faith lift your voice and pray Rande sabaroko to shobra diskala bus. Ziketeko sata baroto shobri anda kala balara bus. Shabra taka tapratis. It's how greatness happens in the kingdom, brothers and sisters. 
through authority through alignment believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established believe in his prophets so shall you prosper Hallelujah. I know that our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. Anything that is in your life that you did not see in this ministry, pray it out now and say you must go. Even if you are a visitor, lift your voice and pray. You must leave. You must leave. In the name of Jesus Christ, you must leave. By anointing of the Holy Spirit, you must leave. Are you praying? Are Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You now see the reason why when we welcome first timers, we call them out. We don't call them out just to clap for them. I know that many churches, they just identify them. Uh -uh. We call them out. That little prayer you see in the name of Jesus that I say everybody pray. I can just pray alone. It's not a ritual. When I say everybody pray, you are a benefactor of an anointing that should come to you. Are we together now? When we pray, sometimes I say hold hands and let's pray. That's the reason why I listen to every message. I've told you. I don't sit down and do any big manism because the things you hear me preach most times yes i prepared it and all of that but let me tell you the anointing that delivers those things are, is bigger than me i have to go back and listen by myself and receive the prophecy for myself otherwise i can be blessing others and never enter certain dimensions listen one of the most treasured gifts that you must covet in your life is the ability to hear God clearly the times we live in now guess what will punish you again and again he said the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want here's how I quote it if the Lord is my shepherd then I shall not want when you are many of us hear demons clearly you hear spirits clearly you hear voices nonsense voices clearly you don't need to pray to hear them but do you know that many of us now even our dreams have been hijacked and manipulated you don't even know whether it's god speaking now or not they come as an appearance of light but the message is not consistent with the integrity of god so you don't even know what to believe again dreams are prophetic avenues for the speakings of God to reach the saints though they can be hijacked and manipulated by the powers that be a lady can be manipulated to reject her husband a gentleman can be manipulated to reject his wife a person can be manipulated to reject his voice he is job there are many people they got jobs a spirit told them leave they thought it was God and they left it shadow katos yambra katos asi arhatash i'm seeing the lord is showing me a vision be sensitive something will happen here now and i'm seeing people in the realm of the spirit but i'm not seeing ears imagine like a man no ears this is what i'm seeing now i understand by this vision what the bible says he that hath an ear physically we are supposed to have ears but right now in the name of jesus this is not for everybody hold on I'm praying right now there is a grace that will open the hearing of people I stretch my hands Lord where are they the men and women that need to hear you in this season for ministry to move forward I stretch my hands representing the hands of God and I command the hearing ears be open now Papa Lucatosiata Please help them be open now. Be open now. 
for business be open now for ministry be open now for your career be open now hallelujah and isaac sowed in that land he sowed in a specific there is a geography to increase it doesn't just happen everywhere there are people today if the devil wants to destroy them he will give them visa to uk they will think his breakthrough not every open door is anointed there are times the devil destroys you by opening doors it's not always closed doors there are open doors that, that are open doors towards doom he said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death mm. thou shalt show me the path of life he said for it is in your light that we see light we're going to cry for divine direction many destinies are tied down now because of divine direction or lack of it lord what is the next phase of my life you can't remain like this and just sit down what is the next season what is your blueprint lift your voice and pray show me oh god i buy into the mind of the spirit what is your communication for my ministry for my life in this season i don't want to be found where you were i want to be found where you are pray that have an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying not what he said what he's saying what he's saying what he's saying he said the spirit speaketh expressly not the spirit spoke the spirit speaketh expressly direction of God. listen listen let me talk to us a little especially i know that a generation of young people were very proud we just believe that just because we went to school we can determine the course of our lives with intelligence now destiny is not just academics and education you must cry part time per second for revelation this ministry by the grace of god we are where we are because not just because of the ability to hear god but the ability to stay until he says move tiredness can tell you to move weariness can tell you to move he said if your presence goeth not with us don't send us from here oh god we are not going do you know it is costly to go without god it's cheaper the pain of your waiting is cheaper than the pain of knowing that you are where god is not there are men of god that started well but people encourage you and say this is how they do it in ministry when you get to this level this is the next step and you foolishly took a step a step that ate away your destiny and your progress and your blessing hallelujah it matters that we understand times and seasons and that we can wait until God says move I remember after our second crusade in this ministry the next year we were discussing and they say where are we going I went to the Lord and the Lord said you are not going anywhere and I said okay we're not going anywhere ah but I thought we do it every year mm -mm. be careful the ritual of religion can destroy you God used to do th this way it doesn't mean he has to do it the same way the most important thing is let it be him doing it treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful mm. redeemer of my past and present wrong you're the holder of my future days to come nothing in this world is jesus you're the calm that won't run dry 
we live our lives being in a hurry is not the same thing as speed god is a god of speed i don't know why i'm preaching this now this is part of the miracle service god is the god of speed but god is not the god of rush there is a difference between speed and rush many of us the spirit of god is speaking to someone here you need to calm down the way you are running with your life you are going to land in trouble the way you are running with ministry you will land in trouble the way you are approaching marriage the way you are approaching destiny you will land in trouble culture and the sociological um, context of our living can mount pressure on us to run ourselves to the ditch my soul wait thou upon the lord god is a god of speed but until he speaks you are on your own it's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving running but not moving and here comes a man as weak as he is but he can walk at the pace of god and more can be achieved in one month with god than 10 years alone have you not learned the excellency of walking with god he said for with god all things without god outside of god there are things that are not possible apostle my life i don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side i must make sure that i build a house now i must and god is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be lord of your life i say lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together god is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if god does not lead me i'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait gone are the days that people will say i'm i'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the bible says except the lord builds a house listen very carefully it says they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city man of god listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow i'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the bible says he gives his beloved sleep There are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We're still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. Now, there are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life and say, I've been running since 2005. What have I done with my life? Absolutely nothing. 
Oh, come Lord Jesus. Come and direct me. Give me direction. Are we together? The race is not to the swift. And the battle is not to the strong. Not even bread for them that are wise. When a man subscribes to the direction of God, your life may look controversial for a while, but all that will be before you is beauty and glory. Then your life will become Beulah and Hephzibah, the delight of the nations, the excellency of waiting. The hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait. It's easy to rush. It's easy to do a lot of things. You will make more mistakes in your life rushing. There is power in waiting. Are we together? There is power in waiting. We're going to pray for the sick now. There's a lot to do tonight. But listen very carefully. If this message is for you, then I want you to receive it from the depth of your heart. You know, when we come like this, there are various things that the Lord is doing to several people. Not everyone is sick. Not everyone is oppressed. But a word can come and God says, be careful. There are people about to relocate now to regions. They've not sought God. They just assumed. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is no place on earth called greener pastures. Greener pastures is a spiritual location. It's where the voice of God for you is. God is already helping someone. How many Nigerians smuggled their way through the desert? Trying to get to lands because they believe. The only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern, appreciate, and reward value. That's all. They have a greater propensity to discern, to appreciate, and to reward value. You can be where you are if you are truly directed by God and He will come to you and bless you. Are we together now? How many of you are trusting the Lord to touch you or touch your loved ones? We are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer, I want to settle down and really, really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives. The grand finale will be on Friday. But then you are here, we are going to pray for the sick now. I promise that we will do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of god is an opportunity to watch lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we're all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are an overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are an overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you're here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe ask you or prophesize to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you I notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman you don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it your husband got another wife Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? Look at me. You see, 
brothers and sisters let me tell you something i'm not trying to embarrass this precious lady i don't know you i'm just seeing you for the first time i'm not a woman so i can't pretend to say i know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and i'm asking it boldly do you believe that god can give you new fallopian tubes where are you coming from madam let me tell you there is a god that sits in heaven god is not a herbalist he's a miracle worker put your hand in your stomach look at me shout jesus as loud as you in the name of jesus father that's all right i decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes the god that doeth wonders brand new fallopian tubes i say it again brand new fallopian tubes madam allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital give jesus praise please help this woman it's an elderly woman help her help her social help her. in the name of jesus mama god is delivering you in jesus name the lord is showing me somebody it's just hold on. you will you will sing you will go back to your singing i just want to i'm seeing the someone the power of god is going to come upon you here you're here right now on the line i want to prophesy to that person i, I just saw a flash of light a very strong anointing bring the person the Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life and the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder therefore in the name of Jesus I declare to you not only will you or your brother be healed i decree and declare salvation comes to your family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please sing for us that song creator of the universe creator of the universe what can do what can do
looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing fibroid. Is that true? How long? Seven years. Fibroid. Confirmed in the hospital. That devil is going to leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have children, ma? I've not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God, Almighty God. You know me, Oh, 
the Lord. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over the next half of this year. Hear the word of the Lord. Become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Please keep praying, keep praying. Let it become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Seasons of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please let's be serious. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of the anointing. Required for my next level of exploits. I receive it tonight in Jesus name open your mouth and please pray every dimension was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen that's the next prayer point we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be returned one more time in everything everything that was lost And I will restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palma worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare.
of Jesus Christ. Say it again in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over my loved ones. Hear the word of the Lord. This is your season of rising. Lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones. Please believe what you are saying. Prophesy. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. This is your season of rising. A new level, a new dimension in the spirit. says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might as be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory Jesus I decree and declare that my help comes from above I decree and declare that my help comes from the Lord and in this season I prophesy to my destiny Ebenezer receive the help of God lift your voice and pray God for help
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Was he praying? Many of us here, all you need is the ministry of helpers. Are we together now? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Do you know why he spoke about the hills? Because God used the strategy of the hill to protect the people. Every time there was war, he would lead them up the hill. And if they got there, there would always be victory. Remember Elijah. When, it, when there was time for any contest, he would say, go up the hill. Mount Carmel, Mount Zion, Mount this and that. And so he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he said, no, no, no where comments my help he said my help the, the hill is only a strategy the hill is not my source and then he says my help cometh that means just like faith help to cometh faith cometh help cometh your help can come from other places by divination and witchcraft a man can attract a system of attention but he will pay for it listen Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man. Blessed is a man that finds help from God. Many people are suffering because there is no help. Life can be cheap when there is help. Believe me when I tell you this. How much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it? How much is it? What is the job issue with a single signature? A man's life can change but i told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default i'd like you to cry father in this season i'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny helpers please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray In the name of Jesus was you praying this prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service and I want you to pray because people are receiving results we are still going to pray over the issue of help let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters you see this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God my life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all god can step in and you have value you are packaged your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at the cherry my god arise for me as a helper Shaka Barakatos, Shaka Taka 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 when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream. And then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen, you are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> in Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones. Financial help, spiritual help, career help. Saza sata chova shana makata, shana makata sana dakata kala koto siyata. Help, O God. Shaba katos, shabros kete bara kato shana makata. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37 and he took me in the spirit of the Lord and he took me to a valley and the Bible says that valley was full of bones and it says the bones were very dry bones don't dry up in one day it means they have been there for a long time we want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go you were born and you met that problem you have become an adult you have met that no 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 it must go that it has stayed long does not mean it's valid say in the name of jesus every dry bone in my life and in my family hear the word of the lord i decree and declare let life come to you now lift your voice and pray prophesy life your father lost his job since 1991 till today he has not gotten a job hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord all ministry hear the word of the lord all business hear the word of the
the Lord. Oh destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there, but there was no life. He says, Son of man, prophesy again to the four winds and say, O wind, breathe upon this slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the bones, and there arose an exceeding great army. Listen, God is able, God is able to turn a man's captivity overnight. He said, Have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day? But he said, as soon as Zion travails, we know that birth is nine months. But something can happen to the rod of Aaron and it can burn overnight with no root. I like you to say, Lord, let the supernatural work in my life in this season. Business at a supernatural rate. Ministry at a supernatural rate. If it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous in my eyes. Lift your voice and pray. As soon as Zion travails, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. As soon as Zion travails, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostle said, I desired once again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Your breakthrough desired to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Your helpers desired to come to you. Have you seen a situation, Ejimi, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we are not here to waste time Brothers and sisters, this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom. Are we together? It says, do not be ignorant of the devices, the methodologies from the word stratomai, the methodology of Satan. There are methods. He said, do not let your good be evil spoken of. Have you seen that that's a method? That I call you and Satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm. I just called you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just they don't, please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God 
to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same it's the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is god are we together i remember a few years ago i went to a house to pray for them i was invited and i got to the house i usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them and i went to the house and uh, um i just saw the man the, the owner of the house the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live and i sat down i was talking with the family and the man was just looking you know you know all this do do and leave my house until by the mercies of god god began to speak to him at the end of it it was him that escorted me out say ah, ah you are you are you know my friend they collected my i said look at this man would have missed this miracle brothers and sisters some of our loved ones you know what i'm saying are like that their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years they organize a program near your house and they say no 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 once it is not you it is not god it's an error what of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened they be anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry yes no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the sun arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the sun arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together i want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen. A helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. Some men came to David in a cave called Adullam and they vowed that we must make you king. You are seeing a man who is already weak. No result. 
ah, when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Hapa, there is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation. When you, when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship, you can't give. But if it's freely you received, it freely you will give. Are we together? Your destiny is one helper away. By the privilege of God's grace, I've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people. And overnight, they got jobs without interview. Just because I happen to know someone in a position of influence. And I say, sir, please there is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken he's the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of God there are pastors that need the help of God you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by God to help you will stand in the rain and say I'm sent and I'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help please hear what i'm telling you do you know if you do things alone and by yourself you are not blessed even if you succeed in doing it help help that god arises for a man and say young men established within 10 years but i have chosen promise that in one month I will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it challenged him and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of God or not. I told him, I said, no, that, that is a foolish, that is a foolish concern. Are you seeing, the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list. You are now seeking whether it's the will of God, going behind. What is there to ask whether it's the will of God or not? Listen, I know that it looks like it's just a joke, but it's a serious issue. How many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help? No help. Ask the medical doctors, they will tell you. You buy a car alone. You look for food alone. You walk alone. You seek counsel by yourself. You advise yourself. No helper. You see people moving like Cain all around. Nobody to help. Nobody to advise you. Their pastor, Pastor Bolaji. Do you know sometimes Pastor Bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it would take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord satire. there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but god chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the bible says according as his divine power please listen hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said aha uh -huh, you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw it's because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he say but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you lord you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor keep praying i just want to say thank you so in my life Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. from the dead that Lord every request here before you upon this altar I ask my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and Lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart lord i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart and i will lift my voice to you in worship i will worship you are god from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are god all by yourself you are god from beginning to the end there's no place for argument I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands Represents shame and reproach in your life. I cry to the God of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every man of God represented here. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life i send the word of god like a messenger to reproduce the garden of eden over your issue in the name of jesus christ when a man's ways pleases the lord he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him i declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise i command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you 
where you failed before go back again with an anointing go back with the grace that makes men succeed in the name of jesus christ and the lord visited sarah and she called the name of her son isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me i introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the negative i pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way god will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy i decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory i command death to pass from over you in the name of jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every ground can yield i command your ground to produce for you Amen. daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a god that revealed secrets i pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my god open your eyes to see it and the bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah, a land that is desirable. And Isaac looked at his sons and said, the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed. I decree and declare, may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men, may it come upon your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, thou causest men to ride over our heads. We walk through fire and through water, but thou brought us into a wealthy place. I decree and declare, help even in the area of finances, may it arise for you. I say it again, help even in the area of finances, may it arise for you. Finally, I pray for every family represented here. And that includes those connecting with us online. It doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from. In the name that is above all names, the Lord has made a, declare, a declaration that this is our year of signs. A sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it. Therefore, I decree and declare, may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders. I say it again, may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Paradventure, you are here in this place tonight. Everyone, please listen. Please, no moving around. Let's honor the name of the Lord. You are here. You have seen what the Lord has done. You've heard me teach. And the Holy Spirit began to convict you. To tell you that the time had come for you to make jesus lord of your life and to take him seriously i want to give you that opportunity right now there are people here saying apostle i've heard about god i've been around the things of god i've been around church i have a christian name my father may even be a man of god my mother is an intercessor but i i declare my need for god tonight and then there are others here who are saying apostle i have given my life to Christ but at one point or the other I just found my life going haywire 
and i'm saying i need jesus if you belong to any of these categories i'd like you to make a bold step overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you Colonia, are you appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly say call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you're not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray a big congratulations to you thank you so much now i want you to follow someone waving his hands there's a gentleman waving his hands there can i see who is waving his hands now please very quickly i'd like you to follow him all of you in concert just follow the gentleman there'll be a group of people to just meet with you very quickly and very briefly let's honor them hallelujah from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching